Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's my friends over at Joanne.com. Week number two of our Bernat Blanket Stitch Along. Hey, we're gonna progress to the fun stuff right here, the bobble work that we're gonna have. The colors just pop, boop, just like popcorn coming out of your afghan. Hey, what's better than a festive afghan? One that goes pop. And as you can see, these colors are really quite amazing. So what we're going to be doing in this particular one is that we're gonna get yourself set up to do all that. And then we're gonna progress then later on in the week. So without further ado, enough chitter chatter. Let's get at her and let's get into the studio right now and let's get you started. So let's begin clue number two. So we've already got our leaf orange here and we've just converted the last clue and that we are going to do the deep sea green as we're going to start today. What you're gonna be noticing is that this here we're not gonna be carrying any colors because if you carry it you'll see it and there is no border. So we're gonna be changing out in and out our colors here. So you see that there's one, two, three, four and five bobbles that we are going to be applying this. So five rows of that. So let's uh, take a look at the diagram and instructions for this one. So like before what we have to do is that we have to do a setup row in order for us to get ourselves established in order to do it. All the abbreviations are right here that we're gonna be using today. So this one we have to really think about. We are going to be doing um, some bobble working as you see. So we're gonna be playing with this uh, particular idea and we're gonna be working our way. There's also a crochet diagram on page number two of this clue. And in this clue here you can see how it will work together as we're working our way throughout this. So without further ado let's take a closer look at this diagram and then we're gonna get started immediately. So as we begin this we're gonna be doing our setup rows and I want you to notice this here. This is a two together single crochet. This is not done on the end of a line. Remember this is a reduced sample. So what it's telling you in row number two as we're doing our setup here is that we're gonna do the first 39 single crochets um, on their own and then the two middle will be together just like you see it and then the remaining will all be a uh, single crochet on its own. So we're gonna be focusing on that in order to get this thing to work and we're going to be starting off then doing our setup rows and we're gonna be using the color of deep C which is what we're already ready for. So we're gonna begin to work through this. Now the pattern of the repeat pattern are these six rows that you see and it says to repeat that a set number of times. So it says repeat the set pattern and it will say repeat once more. So you're gonna go through one through six and then do one through six again and then pick it up as we continue along with our clues. So without further ado let's do setup row number one. So let's begin setup row number one. You should be looking at the back side of the project. So when you finished off clue number one you should have at, been at the end and you can see that the good side is on this side. So we're gonna be starting on this and you should be looking at the wrong side. It matters and just make sure you're watching for that. We also wanna bury in our yarn strands as we're gonna get started and we are just going to chain one and we're gonna do the front loops only. So we already covered that earlier on in today's or in this uh, particular stitch along. So just to recap in order to do that just slide your hook underneath these stragglers to, just to catch them underneath and go to the front loop only of the last stitch. So remember that the two strands there equal stitch. The back one furthest away from you is the back loop and the one closest to you is the front loop. So what I want you to do for about two inches is bury in the straggler yarn and a stragglers mean just weaving in the ends just as you go right underneath the stitch work and it saves you having to deal with it later if you wish. You can also use a, a tapestry needle if you want to. So for this row here all we're just gonna apply is one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way. And once you're satisfied with this um, how far you've gone with these stragglers just let them fall to the outside and then just continue along. So one single crochet in each of the front loops all the way to the end. Please do that now and meet me back here in just a moment. So as we get all the way to the end you're continuing with the front loop only right into the last one and then we're gonna turn our work and then begin setup row number two. So remember what we talked about already. So you're just gonna count. So let's just chain up one and you're just gonna go into the regular stitch now and that's one of 39 that we want to concentrate on. So I just wanna make sure that. So this is one of 39. So I'm not gonna count 39 with you on camera. So just count and, and get 39 done and then meet me back here in just a moment. So this is number two, three and I'll see you at 39. So I now have 39 complete. So the next two are gonna come together with a two together single crochet. So just insert into the next uh, stitch, pull through and then just go to the next one after that, pull through and you'll have three loops, pull through all three. 
So the remaining of this row is just one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the end and at the end we're gonna be uh, getting rid of this color and bringing back our leaf orange. So I'm each at the end of this row. So as I'm coming to the end I just wanna let you know something. So with the single crochet here that you see the, the green all the single crochet rows in this section will always be green. So that might be very helpful for you to know. On the very last stitch we wanna switch it out to the leaf green and what I'm gonna do at the end is that I'm gonna leave all my ends. I'm still gonna bury them but I'm just going to leave them to the very end to get rid of them and I will handle that all at the same time. So putting on the leaf uh, orange one more time and we're gonna be continuing to do that. So the bobbles are always done with the leaf orange and then you can just snip out your, your C um, C color here and then what I can do is that I can get ready to start for the next row. So the next row is the repeat pattern th one through six which we will do twice. So let's go through the instructions. So we're gonna start here and this is row number one of the repeating of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see as we're gonna go back and forth. So we're gonna single crochet in the first one and then we're gonna put a bobble here and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really quite simple. And then in the next one here, the next three are single crochets and then a bobble and etc. So you're not skipping over any stitches. And then what's gonna happen is that at the end of this row we're gonna get rid of this color and the next two rows here in the single crochet will be the green again. And then you'll come back and then we're gonna apply the next one which will be orange. You will notice that these bobbles are in a different location. That's why the repeat pattern is so many rows. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna apply um, this through one through six. You're gonna do through one through six once again and the instructions do say on the other side here that we are going to repeat the one, uh, the first and second row one more time after we have done the repeat twice already. So without further ado let's begin row number one of the repeat and this is where you're gonna restart when you have to come back to do this if you need the video. So let's begin. It's because of the single crochets that the bobbles really pop out the way they do. So you're gonna chain up one and you want to take the stragglers of both of them and apply them underneath the same stitch. So just scoop the hook underneath them and then go into the regular single crochet stitch so it gets stuck underneath. So there's your first one. So just pull things nice and tight once you have that established. So the next one here is a bobble and you wanna favor the right side of this. So let's just, uh, I'll show you how to do the bobble first and it's consisting of, uh, it's basically three single crochets or three double crochets together but so wrap the hook going into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Then do it again. So wrap going in the same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Do it one more time wrap and going in, pull through, pull through two and hold. You should see four loops on your hook if you're, you've got it right. And then once you have that done just yarn over and pull through all of them just like that. So what you wanna do is that favor the right side of the project. So the other side you can see the, the grooves that are here. So when you go to do that just use your finger and, and just poke just your thumb and poke it out so that it stays to the right side of the project. And then immediately jumping to the next single crochet that's available to you, I want you to single crochet. So when you're looking at it from this perspective, you have the first single crochet, this one here is the top of the bobble and then this is the new single crochet. So you're gonna put three single crochets in between these bobbles. So you've already got one in there, do another and then another and then the next one is a bobble and I'll show you one more time. You're just gonna repeat this pattern going across. So I'm gonna let the stragglers fall to the other side. So there's gonna be a bobble here. So wrap in into the next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Wrap, same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. Wrap, same stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. You see four loops on the hook, pull through all four. It is complete and single crochet. Just use your thumb and poke out and it will stay to the right side. Okay, so you can see that it's growing on the other side. So there's gonna be three in a row of those single crochets. So one, two, and three, and then bobble again. So continue that all the way down and if your math is right there will be a bobble and then the last stitch is a single crochet. But I'll see you there in just a moment anyway. So let me do this off camera and I will see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming to the end of the row and the second last stitch I'm just keeping in count to the pattern so that I'm not doing anything special is a bobble and then the last stitch is a single crochet. So what you wanna do is that you wanna get rid of that yarn, so snip it out 
we want to get our deep C ready once again and we're going to finish that last one with the deep C and let everything fall into place. So let's turn our work. So the next two rows are each gonna be a single crochet row. So just turn and begin all over again. So you want to take the stragglers and just keep them so that they're gonna get buried. So chain up one and then just the regular single crochet just put the stragglers on top and you know the next one has to be the top of the bobble. So just watch your stitches. Make sure that you're not gaining anything. It shouldn't be too hard in this one. And then the next one's a single crochet plus the next two after that. So just keep an eye on the counts of your single crochets in between the bobbles and making sure that they all get it. And once you've buried it long enough, you can just let the stragglers fall to the other side and then you can deal with that later. So just continue to single crochet across and then what I want you to do at the end of this row because I think you're experienced enough, just turn your work and then just chain up one and then one single crochet then back across this uh, row. So please do that now and I will see you at the end. So you'll have two of these green rows in and then we're gonna switch and do a different row of bobbles. Same concept but we're gonna be switching the locations to make sure that they are not in the same spot. So I'll see you then. Just get two rows of your green done now. So I'm just finishing up row number three. You can see we're on the back side because the, the bobbles are on the other side. And we're just gonna come into your last one but we're gonna switch out our yarn again at the very end. So just get rid of our, your leaf orange ready and then just put it on and then finish that. And we're gonna turn our work. So I just wanna just trim my C, deep C there. And then I want to start the next row. So this is row number four. So this time in row number four, we're gonna be changing the locations of these bobbles. So to start up, we're gonna just chain one and get your stragglers like you have been and in the regular stitch, just bury them underneath. So just scoop the hook underneath it and go right into the stitch and you're gonna single crochet that one plus the next two. So just pull things nice and tight. Make sure it all works out. So next two. So there's a total of three single crochets on the edge. And this is allowing us to get that bobble to be in between. So the bobble is just like you know it already. So it's just wrap the hook in, pull through, same stitch again. And so this bobble should be directly between the other two bobbles in the rows below. So pull through all four loops and immediately go to the next three single crochets. So, oh, and what you wanna do is that use your finger and just from the back side push it forward. So the bobbles naturally wanna fall to the back side but if you push it forward it'll hold there. So there's three single crochets in there and that's a, like in a row and then it'll be a bobble in the next one. Okay, pull through all three. You just use your finger, okay, and then just single crochet in the next three. It's probably just use your finger after you secure the first single crochet and then it will hold it there. So I want you to do that all the way across. This is row number four and then uh, we are gonna return back to five and six just like this regular green and then we're gonna do a repeat from that. So one through six after that and we'll talk about that when we get there. So as you conclude row number four, you got your final bobble in and the last three are, are single crochets. So one, two and the final one, we want to get rid of that yarn again and the next two rows are just going to be single crochets using the C green or sorry deep C. I keep misenunciating that, sorry about that. So you're just gonna do that and pull through. So you're just gonna turn your work and you're just gonna chain up one and you're gonna bury in your stitch work uh, or sorry your stragglers as you do it. So for the next two rows it's just single crochet and then that will be rows number five and six. So then you're going to end up repeating patterns. So what I want to do is just uh, continue to bury in these strands as I go. Just pull things nice and tight and then continue along. So go all the way to the end and then chain up one and then uh, single crochet then back across and then we're gonna get rid of this again and then start and repeat row number one. So let me do that and I will be back in just a moment and we'll just recap on your repeat and then you're gonna be expected to do that and then get this done and then we're gonna then conclude the rest of the, the, the um, clues <laughs> for this particular week.
So I'm coming up to finishing a row number six. So I'm gonna put a time marker on here so that you can reverse back to go back to row number one and you need to repeat row number one through six one more time. So row number one is the first bobble here. So you wanna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. So do that one more time. Then once you have it done one more time, you need to repeat rows number one and two one more time. Okay, so the, here's your instructions again. You're gonna repeat rows number one through six one more time. Then repeat rows number one and two one more time. And then that's it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave this with you now and I'm gonna get this done off camera and when I come back then we will conclude the final two rows that are left after you have your repeats done. Again, you can refer to the pattern if you're unsure at this point. And I will be back in just a moment and I'll have the rest of this part done. So now I'm back and you can see that I have five rows of these bobbles and you can see that they worked out pretty great. So I repeated one through six one more time and then I did one and two. So now when we go to turn the final row of clue number two is just simply a single crochet row. However, there is something that is slightly different about it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to chain up one and I want you to apply one single crochet in the next 39 single crochets only. So one, two and three. Meet me at number 39, get 39 done and then meet me there in just a moment. So I officially have my 39 in. The next stitch I wanna put two single crochets into the same stitch. So one and then two and then the remaining stitches that are left in the row is just one single crochet each all the way to the end. So as we come along and the final stitch we are not gonna finish it completely. We're gonna get ready for our week number three, our clue three and just get your vintage white back out. It is color B and then finish that off and then get rid of that um, deep sea color of the green. So I'll see you next week and we'll continue our mystery together or our crochet along. <laughs> So how'd you make out? Those pobbles are just quite something, aren't they? They make the afghan go boom! And that's what, exactly what you want for a festive blanket. So we're gonna progress into week number three next, but before we begin, take a photograph of your work and post it to our social media in order for us to see. And don't forget to use the hashtag of Handmade with Joanne. We'll see you next time as we progress to week number three. Yeah, we're gonna be at the halfway spot already. We'll see you next time. It's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at joanne.com. See ya.